But if we don't have this figured out, we don't have the message, we don't have the avatar, we don't have the brand, we don't have the position, and we don't understand where we're standing, that's not B2C. That's not e-commerce. We need to understand that, and we're because we're building a brand. We're not just selling also. The very next thing we need to do, there's one, one piece missing to the puzzle. And this is getting people to your website, right? So we identified who is the customer, we position our product, we build our store, our salesperson, but how do we get people into our store, right? How do we get people to the store? So, uh, okay, so this is what we call the, we're still in the foundation. We're still building the foundation. This is a test, right? We set this all up. Now we need to get people into our store. So we do a little bit of marketing. The marketing that we use here, the purpose of this to build a foundation, to build a test, this marketing, the purpose is not to get people in. How much did I spend? How much did I make? What's my profit? Right now we don't care about that. We don't care about the money in our pocket. We only care about to find out if this website, if the salesperson can actually move the people that we want to move to become a buyer. So we put out some sort of marketing, usually it's paid advertisement or something that gets the right person in the door into our store as quickly as possible. Because then we can see, okay, we had a thousand people of the people that we want to sell in our store. How many of these people bought? One person bought? Something is wrong. Maybe it was not the right person. Maybe the message wasn't good. Maybe we didn't position it right. Let's fix it. Okay. Okay. Let's say you do it right and you have a thousand people on your store and 50 people buy. Oh, that is great. Great That's message. Great <laughs> but you see all oh, my advertisement with these 50 people, we earn $10,000, but we spend $20,000. Okay. So uh, <laughs> that doesn't work. At this stage, we don't want to worry about it. The only thing we want to worry about is, do we have the right customer with the right message and can we make them buy? Because if the percentage is big enough of people that we can actually buy, we can figure out a cheaper way to market. We can figure out a more economic way to drive people into the store. Maybe paid advertisement is not the right way, <clears throat> that's okay. But at this stage, it's just about testing, getting people in. Because if it doesn't work, this is, uh, this is the last step, which is which testing. Is, uh, testing. Test and optimize. Test and optimize. So now that we have people in, let's look at the numbers. Let's evaluate. Did this work or didn't it work? Well, it didn't work. Okay, let's tweak. Let's optimize some things and try it again. Okay, and we do that as long. <coughs> I go. Yeah, and we do this as long as you need in order to have the foundation right. We don't look at. Profits. We don't look at money in the in the bank. We, that doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is do we have the right person? Because if that is right, if the foundation is right, then whatever we invest into other sort of marketing long term, that will always work. But if we build on the wrong foundation, if we just say okay, no one really bought, but we can get cheap marketing, we can get a like, lot of people, <laughs> then like, it will never work. Exactly. We have one client. Um, he was selling headphones. Had a beautiful website. Very well designed. He paid a lot of money for that website. He spent $10,000 on Facebook, $10,000, 60,000 renminbi on Facebook ads because he wanted to make a beautiful launch. He had a beautiful website. I'm going to sell. From the $10,000, he sold four headphones. <laughs> I mean, he didn't spend all of it. He spent $2,000 to get four sales. And, oh, but why it didn't work? No, I, I tried myself. Can you show me what's going on with my site? The, the first thing, me as a, as a person that I have built some website, okay, let me see the website. Beautiful website. Uh, name, be, uh, image, blah, blah, blah. Beautiful buy the headphones, beautiful pictures, the people, everything. But what's going on? 
here, when you go to the website, from the uh, mobile version, from your phone, you have, you know this, is called pop-up. This is one, one image that comes in and takes over all the page and says 15% discount. And then have a next year. And as me, I don't know the brand. I don't know who are they. They use Facebook ads. Okay, they have a cool product, but when I go to see what is that about, I want to figure it out. Like, who are they? Is this the right product? They have this 15%. And remember, like, people is, oh, when they're in their, in, their, in their Facebook, they're having fun. They're watching cat videos, friends. Okay, I want to see one uh, headphone. Okay, cool. Oh, I go to the page, 15%, no, like, they, they waste $2,000 in nothing. That's something that could be avoided if you understand on the technical side and sending the right message. Not just that. When people decide that they want to keep going, they click here and close the pop-up. When they go, they have a beautiful site, but their message says nothing. Only specifications of the product. Yes, uh, very good sound. Uh, very good design to avoid the, 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 the drop off when you're running. But it doesn't connect to me. I don't need another headphones. I already have one. What is this different from the other? No, I'm not interested. Because the message that the page was giving was not connecting to me. I, I'm not, I'm, that doesn't take me anywhere. Don't take me from point A to point B. I don't care about their design. I don't care about, no. I need to have more than that to be close, to be sold. So then we, are, we go backwards. Who are you selling to? It's not about the website, how beautiful it is, how beautiful pictures you have. It's about the message. It's about who. Well, let's make a case for John, your avatar that will go from A to B that is in the grow and sell. And from there, we build a website with our message, with the idea, with Neil's copy. Beautiful with a story from the entrepreneur when he grew up and he always tried to do the plant growing because that was his passion. Then after that, we do the marketing. We do a small test and we figure it out if that message convey using all of this and we can make some sales. Later on, there are multiple ways that we can bring people very cheap. That's what we do. Cheap traffic, figure it out, SEO, message, the tricks. But if we don't have this figured it out, we don't have the message, we don't have the avatar, we don't have the brand, we don't have the position, and we don't understand where we're standing, that's not B2C. That's not e-commerce. We need to understand that and we're because we're building a brand. We're not just selling also. We're creating a vision, we're creating a... a a passion that people want to do using your product to reach that goal. You're not selling your product. You're selling your vision. Your product is a tool. It's just a tool, like Shopify. Yes. It's just a tool. But what Shopify wants to do, create entrepreneurs. They want to destroy marketplace. They go against Amazon. They don't like them. They want people to do their own businesses. And they make it easy for them. What is your vision aligned to the person that goes in the grow and sell? Make sense? Got an idea? So this is what the message that we want to show you of why, why it's important. Because the, the tricks and the techniques, that's later. That one, we, we can go with it. But this is the basics. This is the most important of all principles of marketing. Understanding your client. Getting this. Promotion. Company vision. Wealth where you position your product. Questions? <laughs> I'm just listening. What is our vision? <laughs> Very difficult. No. Much work. Yes. 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 So in order to find the vision, yeah. this is important. Who is, who is the person? Yeah. What do they want? Yes. Right? Yes. So uh, a lot of times, if you are the person, if you sell to yourself, it's easy. It's like, okay, I know my vision, I know my goal. But if you need to figure out who is my customer, what vision do they have, it 
I gotta talk to them. Yes. <laughs> you have you is 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 good. It's important. Yes, it's <laughs> Right, because we're, we're talking about all the strategies, and the things we can do, and the technical stuff. And that's How? all. That's all important. Yeah. But it doesn't matter if you don't have the yes. right foundation. If you don't <laughs> have the, it always comes down to who is giving you the money. Yes. yes. Right? yes. And that is the most important piece. Yet I feel yeah. like it's the most neglected piece. No one ever thinks about yes. that. Everyone thinks about how do we structure the website? How do we design a logo? No. Right. But what does it, the person doesn't care how pretty your logo is? What does a person care about? Themselves. People always care about themselves. What can your brand do for me? They don't care, like, how, how, can, how if I want to give you money. They don't, they don't care about you. They care about themselves. What does this product do for me? What's the tool? How much does that benefit me? Where does that get me? Does that get me closer to my vision and to my goal? And does my, does my vision align with your vision? Does that connect? Because if it does, then we can work.